We're welcoming tonight Marjorie Vega of Well Cells Vitality Services, and we'll be discussing the use of technologies such as Rife machines, pulsed electromagnetic frequencies, frequency specific microcurrents, phototherapy, infrared, infrared light, and sound technologies for treatment of microbes, metals, and toxins such as pesticides and molds. Um, Marjorie is well known in the Lyme community, and we're so grateful to have her come and share her knowledge tonight. Thank you, Marjorie. Hey, thank you. Thank you for the invitation. I'm always happy to share my knowledge. Um, I think it's important for people to know that there is hope. Oftentimes when we have conditions like Lyme disease, we're told it's incurable and you're going to spend all your money. And, you know, I remember when I was ill, I didn't want to talk to someone who was ill. I wanted to talk to someone who recovered because I knew it was going to be a marathon. I wanted to know that I, it was possible to overcome. So I just want to give people hope. Um, I'll tell a little bit of my story once we get started, but I first need for everybody to know I'm not a doctor and I am not a physicist. I'm not a scientist. I'm someone who tries very hard to overcome. And so when my daughter and I were afflicted, I was determined to do all the research and try everything. And with the goal that once I got well, I wanted to pay it forward. So um, when you hear my story, you will you will know, you'll realize I'm I don't know everything about um, quarks and biophotons and quantum entanglement, but I know enough to know that there's some magic happening in the body. I know enough to know that miracles can happen, and I know enough to know that our bodies are self healing. They just need a little boost. They need a little energy. So um, with that, uh, I just. Uh, trying to advance my slides to give the disclaimer that I'm not going to be, you know, making any medical recommendations. I'm not going to be talking about curing or treating um, any particular condition. Um, so I always recommend that what you hear from me, you take back to your doctor or your practitioner or your health coach or whomever, but I'm not going to be prescribing anything. So. And, and please hold your questions till after. Um, Marjorie is finished with her presentation. You can type your questions in the chat. Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's get back to my screen share here. And this time it's still not advancing. So Nellie. So um, if you wanna just stop the slideshow for a sec. By just hitting stop share. Uh, so stop this. You can um, in PowerPoint. You can stop the. Um, you can stop the slideshow. Okay. And then restart it. It's that little icon down on the bottom. It's not. Okay. We do have technical issues from time to time, and. Um... Part of the um, nature sometime, of our programming. <laughs> sometimes Zoom and PowerPoint do not play nice together. Um, and uh, and unfortunately, many presenters across many different uh, different organizations run into these technical difficulties. So um, Marjorie, if you uh, if you've in PowerPoint, if you've backed out of the slideshow, then go ahead and share your screen Hi. again. Mm -hmm. So share your PowerPoint. And no worries about the pausing. Um, okay. we, yeah. we can fix this. Yep. Okay. And then it's just the little, um, the little icon down on the bottom bar to yep. start the show. Yep. Okay. And I think now it should work. Go. 
There okay. we go. Thank you. Don't yep. know why that froze up. Uh, so there's my disclaimer, which I just um, basically stated for you. And yeah, so we're going to be talking about good vibrations, and I'm going to be defining what is a vibration, what's a frequency. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the science. I'm going to be talking about the origin of frequencies, and um, I will then be demonstrating some of my technologies, telling you about the benefits and strengths and the weaknesses of them. And if you decide that one day you would like to um, have a device, you have your own device, I can tell you what to look for in a particular unit or in because there are a lot of them out there, believe me. Okay, so I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little bit our, about our story and um, give you a sense of how difficult things were. But first, we need to talk about life before Lyme. Um, I was a lifelong tennis player, a hiker. Um, my husband and I gardened almost every weekend. I do remember a tick bite. Um, my daughter also had several tick bites. I was also a senior project manager at a Fortune 50 company in telecom. Um, again, I was like really into gadgets and new technology and everything. Um, I was very active as a volunteer in my church, in my school, in my neighborhood. Um, at that point of my illness, we'd been married. My husband and I had been married seven years and we traveled and played tennis. We, you know, we had had a nice life together. Uh, I had a three-year-old and a baby when my symptoms started to present. My daughter, uh, we figured out what she had at about age 10. So I'm not going to go over the symptoms. You all know what's involved with Lyme. Um, they ran the gamut from GI symptoms to brain fog to pain. Mine was unremitting pain. Uh, I had nerve damage and was unable to walk. I walked with a cane. Physically, I could walk, but I was extremely weak. Um, and our lives were very limited. Of course, you know, these symptoms can remit and relapse. So yeah, I would have a few good days, but a lot of bad days. Same with my daughter. It, it took us a while to figure out that she had Lyme because there would be days where she was fine, right? And then uh, she'd have three or four days of lethargy and fever and nausea. And um, it turned out to be the end of every month. So that's one of the distinctives of Lyme and co-infections is that four to six weeks of, of relapse. <clears throat> we saw an average of three doctors a week. Some weeks we had five visits. There were ER visits. We probably saw 25 doctors between us at least. During this time, my husband was unemployed, unemployed or underemployed and needing back surgery himself. There were many years we didn't take a vacation. Our vacations consisted of visiting a family member who happened to live near a beach. So that was the blessing. When we did go away, we stayed with family and we, we got to see some pretty places that way, but we never really took a vacation to Disney or anything like that um, until the kids were older. We probably spent about 150 grand out of pocket for about 20 years of combined illnesses. And we got through it through our faith and our the love of our family, friends, and community. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later. What did we try? Well, what didn't we try is the bigger question. We were on multiple antibiotics, uh, rotating and pulsing them, sometimes you know three or four at a time for years. We were also on numerous supplements. Um, my daughter at one point, I think, was taking over 50 pills a day. I think my maximum was 26 pills a day. Um, that included some medications to manage the flares and the herxes and some of it to manage the impact on our mood and our sleep. We also did hyperbaric. Well, she did hyperbaric. Uh, we nebulized a formula. We did foot baths. We did ultraviolet um, through IVs. We did other infusion therapies, herbs, herbs, homeopathics, essential oils, cannabis, um, physical therapy, integrative manual therapy, dynamic manual therapy, cranial sacral therapy, and total body modification, psychotherapy, acupuncture, cold laser therapy, cryotherapy, nosotherapy, and methyl genetic nutrition. Did I leave anything out? <laughs> What helped us the most was frequencies. Um, and this entered our, our world when a friend of mine through my best friend through was in church with this girl. And this girl said, oh, your, your friend Marjorie should try this 
frequency specific acupuncture at a clinic in Florida. So we took my daughter there and she started to heal. She healed very, very quickly. Um, and it lasted for about a month. And then we had come to a point where it's like, do we send her back down there? We can't afford one of these machines. And what's next for us? And it had been determined that antibiotics were next for us. And my daughter didn't want to do that. She didn't want to be on an IV all summer long. And so um, we had kind of hit this dead end. And then we thought, well, maybe we could find something like this frequency specific acupuncture device. And about a week after we had hit this dead end, um, my sister-in-law sent me a link to one of the devices. And she said, have you guys tried this? And I showed it to my daughter who happened to be studying the impact of light and sound on the cell in her microbiology class. And she said, oh, mom, this makes total sense. Can I do this? And so we decided that we would take that leap of faith, bring a device into our, our home. And over the course of a summer, of a summer um, I got my daughter back. <laughs> so it was lovely, lovely to watch. How we were helped? Well, so when you use these devices, your organs are optimized. You know, your organs each have specific functions, but they also do work synergistically. And so we got our organs functioning, the gallbladder and liver, kidney were detoxing well. We um, activated the nutrients in our body. You know, you take all these supplements, but if your body doesn't have the energy to metabolize them, you're kind of wasting your money. We also brought down the toxic load from microbes, metals, and environmental toxins. And as a result, you have more energy because you're not fighting all these infections. Your mood gets elevated because you feel better physically. Your nervous system is calmed. And when your nervous system's calm, your sleep is restored. We no longer had need for labs and x-rays and MRIs, operations, um, emergency room visits, and hospitalizations all kind of went away. And our lives became simpler. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but this was the binder for my daughter. This was one of a couple of binders. And in the binder, we had all of her medical records, her antibiotic charts, her lab results, doctor's notes, pharmacy notes. And the next year, that folder was about this thick. So it was really wonderful to not be managing the medical mayhem, as I call it. And at the first, in the first year, we saved about $25,000 in medical expenses. And you may know this, but about 75% of medical of personal bankruptcies are due to medical debt. So today, um, yesterday, my husband turned 65 and he's been employed at the same place for 18 years. He's got good brain, as I like to say, um, and he uh, he runs several times a week and he recovered from a concussion beautifully. My daughter is a registered nurse and lives independently and physically actively in um, out west. And she actually has a couple of jobs, so that's pretty cool. I play tennis every week and I have great great health, great sleep, great digestion, and um, I'm able to work as a natural health coach about 40 hours a week. And we got to have our first family vacation, which was lovely um, and really was a, was a dream come true. We do still get our annual checkups, just so you know, I do like to have things validated, but we no longer have a weekly, monthly, you know, daily awareness that we're patients. We no longer define ourselves as patients. We're very grateful. This is our younger daughter's graduation. The one on the right in the black and white dress, she is the one who, who had the uh, Lyme and Bartonella and Babesia. I had Legionella, Babesia, and Lyme. So let's talk a little bit more about what our vibrations frequency what is what is energy i want to try to make it as tangible as possible because it is so abstract so think of it that um think of everything in nature having its own musical note having its own signature frequency having its own resonance when molecules spin and wiggle and shake millions of times per second that creates a vibration that creates an energy 
Um, the molecules that are in our living matrix are connected tissue are think of them as semi semiconductors. And in a single second, a cell performs 10 million chemical reactions. And remember, we've got trillions of cells. So there's a lot happening in our bodies. Each organ has its own set of activity rhythms. The ovaries are monthly. Um, our breath is 10 to 15 breaths um, per, per minute. The heartbeat is about 70 beats per minute. Our brain waves are about um, seven cycles a second. So um, when we have dysfunction or an interference in that music, in that song in our body, that's caused disease. That's that's that causes disease. And so think of it as in musical terms, you have a musical note when it's sharp. Uh, let's say your liver is sharp, that's gonna be inflammation. Let's say your gallbladder is flat, that's gonna be degradation. And so what we want is perfect uh, in the musical tone is, is the word natural. We want to have a natural note, a natural resonance for all of our, all of our organs and all of our systems. So, um, organisms such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites do respond to constructive and destructive frequencies. In the frequency world, when you have um, constructive interference, it's called, that's when you're building something up. So we're going to build up the heart, we're going to build up the brain, we're going to build up the integumentary system, which is our major detox pathway. We're going to build things up and get them operating to, to, a, to optimal function. And we can also put destructive frequencies against something to bring down its effective energy. Um, think of noise canceling headphones. You put one frequency against another and it neutralizes it. The visual I like to use is two ocean waves crashing together. They're not going to create a tsunami. They're going to create a ripple. Okay. Is that helpful? So now I would be talking about our body. Let's talk about our environment. Let's talk about the earth. The earth does have an electromagnetic field. Um, it's within the core, we have the magnetic rock formations and we have telluric fields. Telluric fields run under the water and under the earth. We also have from the earth's crust to the ionosphere is something called the Schumann resonance or the Schumann wave. This is a frequency of an average of 7.83 Hertz. Well, guess what else resonates at 7.83 Hertz? Our brain and our heart as measured on an EEG and an EKG. So I think that's pretty cool. And that's a demonstration of the body, brain, earth synchrony. So our earth is literally life-giving. And this, what happens in the earth and around the earth is happening in our bodies. That Schumann resonance is generated by 7 million lightning strikes per day, which creates plasma and plasma is the fourth state of matter. So when we have an external force meeting our internal force, it creates this response in the brain and we, we step into that, we get into rhythm with that, so to speak. Like when you get on the dance floor, you got a new dance partner, you're trying to understand the beat of the music and the rhythm of your dance partner our bodies get in tuned with the frequencies of the earth. One of the reasons we have so much illness nowadays is because we don't ground. We don't put our bare feet in the grass. Who wants to do that when their ticks are out there, right? We wear rubber soled shoes. We drive around in cars with rubber tires. We are not tapping into the earth's magnetic field. The reason why astronauts come back with organ dysfunction and circadian rhythm disruption and bone bone um, bone loss, bone density loss, is because they've left the Earth's atmosphere. So it's very important that we have energy in our bodies and in our environments. So some of the terms I'm going to be using today are. Um, let me just let's define these for you. So frequency specific microcurrent is actually a term that was developed by Carolyn McMakin, who um, who discovered that there are two channels to frequencies. One is for the issue like inflammation and one is for the tissue like tendons. A TENS unit you may have used when you've had physical therapy, when someone puts these little sticky pads on you and then wires you up and puts a little electric current into your body. 
that is a, about thousand times stronger than FSM. However, it is transcutaneous, it's subdermal, it does not go into the cells like the other frequencies would. So it tricks the body and the brain into redirecting the pain signal, but it doesn't get to the root cause of the pain. So it's more of a symptom management type of thing. So if someone says, oh, I tried TENS unit and it didn't work, it probably worked temporarily, but it didn't get to the, the functional underlying root cause. So then we have EMFs and we have pulsed EMFs. Electromagnetic frequencies run the gamut. There's a spectrum and I'll show you in the next slide, the spectrum. Pulsed electromagnetic frequencies basically says we've taken an EMF and we've put a push to it to go deeper into the tissue and deeper into the cell. Now you've probably heard of RIFE frequencies, RIFE codes, RIFE modalities, RIFE therapies. RIFE is actually the name of, you should, it's, it's more accurate to say RIFE type devices because RIFE's machine isn't really in use anymore. But Royal RIFE was a scientist who identified frequencies of different organisms and he could see under a microscope the vibrational rate and the rate at which, uh, the frequency at which that organism would die. And he developed something called the mortal oscillation rate for I think 12 different organisms. And um, now there are about 1,200 different organisms. And there is a book called The Universal Frequency List, where you can look up a condition like asthma, and it will tell you all the frequencies for a particular condition. And so the story of Reif is fascinating. If you ever get a chance to just read about him, um, he developed the microscopes that are in use in the Hubble telescope. Then we also have the light spectrum from infrared light to UV light, but then we have the electromagnetic spectrum. So most of the things that I use are below 10,000 Hertz. They're below radio waves. So they're very low, low EMS. They're called um, ELF, extremely low frequencies. Um, as you get into the higher frequencies, you're getting into uh, FM radio, microwaves, uh, radar, infrared light, and then into uh, x-rays, sonic and gamma waves and radioactivity. So when someone says, oh, aren't EMFs dangerous? Yeah, they are on the high end of the spectrum. So we're going to look at things that are on the lower end of the spectrum. I don't wanna spend a whole lot of time on this, but I think it's pretty fascinating that electricity and magnetism were used therapeutically um, in ancient times. So the sick were exposed to shocks of elect electric eels. Uh, Thales, who was a Greek philosopher who I believe was considered to be the father of science, used to use um, amber to generate static electricity. Magnetite was used for healing by the Egyptians, the Chinese, and later the Greeks. As you know, acupuncture has been around for thousands of years. Acupuncture is energy medicine. We know our meridians carry um, a flow called chi. Um, even the monks would chant. Chanting is music, and that was calming their nervous system, so that reduced tension. There's some science that's been generated um, by the Gregorian monks. Then electricity was discovered in the late 1700s, and that was believed to be life-giving. That was believed to be something that was the reason why we lived, not just because we had air for oxygen and soil for nutrients and water for hydration, but there was a, a vice, vital force that was um, pulling it all together, making it, activating it. In the late 1800s, Nikola Tesla discovered alternating current, hydroelectric power, and radio frequencies. And it is said that he used his devices on himself. And he lived to be about 83 in an era when the average life expectancy was about 70, I believe. So um, he, um, I never heard of Tesla until the car, honestly. So again, if you can ever read his biography or watch the PBS special about him, fascinating individual, um, a little eccentric, but brilliant. And so um, he's, he's, there's quite a story. There've been movies made and everything. So by the early 1900s, about 10,000 doctors were using frequency healing modalities. This is how healing was done. And then um, in the 1930s, as I said, Reif observed the mortal oscillation rate 
um, of the impact of frequencies on microbes. In 1940, we had the advent of penicillin and medicine became standardized. And so some doctors decided to abandon their devices in favor of writing out a prescription. It, you know, these devices were quite large. They took up a lot of space and an appointment with a patient would be, you know, about an hour. And so it became easier for them to just write a prescription. And then it became much easier for them because they were threatened. If they continued to use their devices, they were sanctioned. Many of them had their devices confiscated. So this is, um, this is kind of the, the turning point. However, there was a resurgence in the 1950s and, um, there was eventually got to the point where the FDA approved PEMF therapy for a number of conditions, starting with the healing of non-union fractures, which is a fancy word for broken bones. And I've had tremendous success helping people with broken bones. It was also approved for incontinence, for muscle stimulation, for cervical fusion patients, for um, mental health conditions, even for brain cancer. Today, frequencies are used around the world by doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, and even acupuncturists. You would think an acupuncture would say, no, I got this, I don't need any fancy stuff, but this makes their jobs easier. So it's pretty cool to see energy healers uh, adapt these, these different modalities, these different devices. So the benefits of frequency technology include streamlining cellular communication and creating, home, creating homeostasis. So basically what we're saying here is there is that intracellular matrix. And if we can give the signals the boost that they need to make their way through our body, um, ultimately what happens is we create this beautiful, lovely symphony within our bodies and everything works synergistically. So think of frequencies as a battery charger. So that would increase your hydration, your circulation, your oxygenation, your respiration. And ultimately when we have greater circulation and oxygenation, we reduce inflammation. So a lot of our inflammatory conditions are a lack of circulation to that, to that body part or to that system. Uh, these frequencies are known to calm the nervous system and elevate mood. They also help with nutrient absorption and waste elimination. You know how important detoxing is when you are trying to get well. Um, the One of the first things that happens is fatigue gets reduced and energy gets increased and the sleep-wake cycle gets regulated. And again, one of the benefits of frequency technology is emulating the Earth's energy, feeling as if you were out there barefoot on the beach or hugging a tree or something. So, um, so they're, they're natural. So think of cellular voltage as a battery charger for the body and pH is actually a measurement of cellular voltage. Okay. So we can take all these supplements and all these medications, but if we don't have the cellular voltage, we won't be able to process them. Um, when people have cancer, their voltage is down. When people are dying, the voltage goes down. So it's very important that whatever we do, we're boosting our cellular health. That's why my company is called Well Cells, Well Cells Vitality. So I'm um, not going to spend a lot of time on the research. Um, I do have some research for specific devices, but generally um, a lot of research has been done for um, for magnetism and soft tissue healing. This improves you know, reduces the swelling, improves wound healing, and basically regenerates nerves. We can regenerate nerves. We can regenerate tissue. Bone is tissue, and that's how the healing happens with broken bones. We are regenerating nerves and tissues. Again, NASA has done thousands of studies, and they found that low PMF fields enhance the repair of damaged tissues and cell regeneration. And some more research here talking about um, bone regeneration. Then the other thing I wanted to do is just to uh, communicate that we as scientists, people as doctors spend a lot of time focused on the germ rather than the terrain. So that's why it's very important that we are aware of our microbiome. That's why we wanna put less emphasis on the toxin and more on making our microbiome inhospitable to these organisms. It's a bit of a paradigm shift. 
No discussion of frequencies would be complete without talking about music and sound therapy. Uh, I have a set of tuning forks. I don't know how to use them. My daughter used to use them. Um, you've probably heard of Tibetan bowls. You might've heard of binaural beats. Uh, this is where you play a different tone in each, each part of your brain and then your body and trains and adapts them and, and integrates them. Solfagio tones are known to be um, ancient. Uh, the tones, I believe that, uh, I think they are the tones that David played on his harp for the king. And so these are nine tones and that range, I believe, 173 hertz to 190 hertz. So it's a very limited amount of tones, but they are known to be very calming, very soothing. Um, there are also apps and YouTube channels where you could just listen to some of these tones. I find some of them to be irritating. It's a high pitched tone. I wanted to play a video for you, but um but it, it's some of these devices, you, you have to actually listen to the tones. And I did not find that soothing at all. Music therapy is used at the MD Anderson Clinic and other doctor's offices, not only with the patients like stroke victims or surgery, um, surgical patients, but the physicians themselves. Uh, we've known that for a while. Some of them really like to listen to classical music. So they have such a thing as prescribed music, which I think is, is really cool. So let me talk about the distinctives of frequency devices compared to other things we've tried and other things you've probably tried. So with many of my devices, the ones I like the best, there is no programming necessary. I don't have to go to this massive book, look up asthma, and type in the 30 different frequencies and also delineate that frequency 753 has to be run for 30 seconds. I go to one of my devices and I go general detox airways and it helps with lungs. It clears out the lungs and also will clear out your colon by the way. Um, so what I love about this is it, it it's pre-programmed. I tried to create a program for someone with endometriosis using the frequency list. It took me an hour. So that's what I like about this. I always thought I could never do PEMF because I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm not an electrical engineer. You don't have to be an engineer. You just have to know how to read, okay? What I like about my devices is that I have control, the user has control. You're not dependent on when the doctor's office is open or the hours of your urgent care clinic or when is the pharmacy open. You're feeling rough, you run the detox assist. It used to be called Herx Help. When I saw they had a program called Herx Help, I'm like, these people understand Lyme. So what's nice is you got a headache, you run headache help. You're feeling cold symptoms, you run the cold program. The other thing I like is some of my devices provide the ability to scan your energetic field to determine what your priorities are. This is fascinating. This has revealed for me, it revealed for me that I had a tapeworm I didn't know I had. For other people, they're told they have um, maybe Epstein-Barr and they've got Epstein-Barr and a Lyme co-infection. So they're not diagnostic, but they are helpful when um, you are trying to ascertain you know, what the patterns are. You're gonna look for patterns over time and you're gonna start seeing things and you're gonna realize, okay, I've been so Lyme focused, but really I, I probably need to get after the Ehrlichia or the anaplasmosis or the Rickettsia, let's say. The other thing I like about one of my devices is I can say, I don't know what the infection is, but I know it's in my knee and you can do a program that detoxes your musculoskeletal system. Or you can say, my lab work and my doctor are telling me that I have um, rickettsia, so I'm going to select the rickettsia button, right? So you can either do a general detox of a body part or a system or like an organ, or you can say, I know what the organism is. I'm going to go to the A to Z library and I'm going to pick it out. Okay, so that's very cool. One of my devices, it's a PEMF device cushions the blow of frequencies. So I, like, I think of right frequencies as dropping a bomb on the body and there's a lot of collateral damage. A lot of people have not used PEMF because they've been afraid of the Herx. 
this program has a little envelope of frequencies and the first five minutes tell the body, get ready because the SWAT team's coming in. And the last few minutes of the program, then you, then you have the frequencies for the organism. And then the last few minutes of the program, tell the body, okay, that was nice. You're going to embrace that. You're going to like that. You're going to seal that in and you're going to build upon it the next time. So it's, um, it's got something to help open up your organ, uh, your, your pathways for detoxing. So that's very nice. I don't see that in many other devices or any other devices. Then, as I mentioned earlier, you can tune up your organs. You can say, just do my gallbladder and liver, or you can say, do them all as if you had had an acupuncture session. Also, there are frequencies to stimulate your nutrients. So we're all under mineralized. Let's get our minerals going. You've got some physical activity. Let's get the electrolytes activated. Okay, it's not going to put that into your body. It's going to activate what's in your body and optimize it. And then one of my devices um, has a program where you can, well, it's, a, it's an app, and you type in a condition like vertigo or insomnia, and it will tell you what programs to run them and when to run them. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of my devices. Um, this is a watch called a Nikki watch, and it used to be called the wave one. Now you may have heard of the wave one because this is what Yolanda Hadid Foster used. Um, this is also what Scott Forsgren of the Better Health Guy used or uses. Um, Ryan Rosner, I think also uses for some of his conditions. The new version of it is, so this is the wave one and this is the Nikki watch. These are light emitting devices, biophotonic. Um, and as you can see, there are pathways here. There are little um, diodes there that would emit red, blue, green, uh, lead, red, green, and turquoise light. This one, I'm sorry, I don't have it charged up right now, but underneath you can see there are some nice little electronics there. And on your screen, you will see some of the programs on the Nikki watch include viruses and bacteria. They also have programs for allergies, insomnia, pain, and then they have programs you would do morning, noon, or night. Strengths of this device. I like it because it's portable, it's wearable, and it has some, some codes for viruses and bacteria. The one thing I do not like about it is it's small, it's really hard to read, okay? And only one person at a time can use this, and the programs take eight hours, okay? So you pretty much wear this 24 seven every day, okay? So you're very consciously aware. And I don't think this is waterproof. I've never tested that, but um, I know this is not waterproof. <laughs> um, okay, so then let me go to the next device. Okay, so this is pulsed electromagnetic frequency. And I uh, will show you that what I have here is a tablet and you have a variety of programs to choose from. So I can get this a little closer. I don't know if you can see on your screen, but there's a program for nutrition, organ tune-up, cleansing microbes, metals, and toxins, the general detox, balance the mind, brain reboot. There are also programs for the common cold, for relaxation, for immune boosting, and for um, for pain. So pain, mood, sleep, cognition are all covered. You basically will select your program, turn on the device, and then you will hold a modified Tesla coil, which I'm going to show you here. This is a modified Tesla coil. So this is copper wire. Um, around a core and that generates a, an electromagnetic signal. And I'm gonna demonstrate for you how easy it is. I just pressed the full moon program, which is great for people who are um, sensitive to the lunar cycle, possibly from parasitic infection. I'm gonna press the play button. And you probably can't hear the frequencies, but I can. 
Marjorie, would yes. you be able to stop your screen share just so people can actually see yeah. things a little bit better? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is the modified Tesla coil. And then the app, um, you, you, did you see the screenshot that I had of the app? Could you see any of that? Okay. All right. So just what I have here is I have a cell sensor. This measures amplitude and Gauss. Gauss is magnetism. Okay. So you can see and hear that it is indeed working. Because a lot of people say, I don't feel anything. I don't hear anything. Younger people can hear higher frequencies, but most of us cannot hear frequencies. There's a certain level that they're audible. Sometimes you might hear them. Sometimes you might feel a subtle vibration. And I'm going to show you also, I'm holding a magnet in the center here. And at certain times when there's a pulsation of a magnetic signal, this little magnet will go crazy in there. It'll bounce around. It'll vibrate. And so, um, so that's kind of fun. When I have children here, I like to put the magnet in the middle and they enjoy watching it bounce around. So that's fun. Let's see if we can show you how, how that works. But yeah, so this is attached to an amplifier. Um, don't know if I can show you that, but uh, it's a box that's about 15 pounds and it's about 12 inches square. And that is a uh, finely tuned instrument that creates these resonant frequencies, um, converting sound therapy into a, an electromagnetic signal. So that's very fun. This is what I consider to be the big guns because it does have frequencies specific for, um, for organisms, for bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. Okay. So let me turn that off. That doesn't interfere with my others. Okay. And then let's see, I'll go back to my screen share show you some more fun things. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it froze up again. Stop share. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna show you another little device. This is a frequency specific microcurrent device and I will show you how easy this is to use. Turn that off. I need this to be turned off. Okay. All right, so what I have here is um, frequency specific microcurrent. I just turned it on and you can see a little flashing green light. And then I'm gonna to go to my phone and I'm gonna open up the app for this. And it's going to make a Bluetooth connection. After I download the program, I can turn my phone off and walk away so that I'm not getting the frequencies here. Everything's resident here. And the, the, um, the Bluetooth, I would not have that exposure. I can just have everything resident here. Okay, now you'll see a little flashing blue light. So it's making a connection. And now I go to the main menu. I don't know if you can see this, but there are a bunch of programs there for pain, learning, hair, skin, and nail like beauty programs. And then there are programs for meridians and different parts of the body. So I'm going to pick the gold cycle. And the programs I have here are for different things. One is for energy. One is for relaxation. One is for um, calming of the nervous system. And one is for um, detoxing. It's called Pure. And so I just pick one of the programs and I press start and the program leaves the cloud and becomes resident on here. See the little flashing light? So the program is being downloaded onto my little device. And as you can see here, this is actually a small coil. This is two coils layered on top of each other and that plugs into here. Now, if I did not have this in here, I would plug in cables and the cables would be connected to 
sticky pads and the sticky pads would be connected to my body. So there's two ways to apply it. One is into your energetic field through the coil. And the other way is to have direct contact with your body. And at this point, all I do is I um, increase the intensity or decrease the intensity. And then I'm given a little visual signal that it, it is indeed, current is indeed flowing. It tells me what frequencies are running and it tells me how long the program is. And with this, because there are over a hundred programs on it, it's a lot to learn. And it, and the programs do take longer because it's microcurrent. It is a weaker signal and therefore the programs are anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. So that they're a little bit longer, but people don't care because you just clip this on, you just wear it. You know, I wear it when I play tennis. Um, I wear it when I go walking. People wear it when they walk their dogs. You know, it's it's portable and wearable. So that's a nice one. And I'll show you my next device. This is um, this is like having two of these. Okay, so this is frequency specific microcurrent and magnetic fields in one. It looks like a smoke detector or a little spaceship. Um, it weighs a few ounces. And what I do with this one is I turn it on side panel. My little spaceship lights up. I open up the app on my phone and it makes a connection with the cloud. And then I choose um, from about 48 programs. Let's see if I can get that. 48 programs on here, some of which are designed to just provide the frequencies into the atmosphere and some of which are to put the frequencies into your body. There are also programs for informing your water, which is great because you could uh, inform your water with frequencies for fitness, for vagus harmony, for energy circulation. Um, here's one for before stress. Here's one for after stress. Put that in your water and then drink your water. Just drink your water throughout the day. Um, there are even frequencies for your plants. And I can tell you it does work for plants because I'm a plant killer. Um, and then there are frequencies for um, different body parts like the neck, the joint, the tendon uh, for your foot. I had some plantar fasciitis coming on and I was like, oh boy, this is, I've had it before. I did not want to have it again. I ran the foot harmony program twice a day for two days. And on the third day I played tennis, you know, I mean, that could have turned into one of these intractable things where you're going to the physical therapist and, you know, but, um, uh, it's also helped me with a, with, a neck pain and back pain. Like when I work out, I might have an injury or something. So this is great for soft tissue. And, um, I like this one because you, it does have a four foot diameter, um, reach. And so you can set it on the dinner table and the whole family would benefit. There are programs for sleep, mood, kidney function, digestion. The digestion program is amazing for nausea. There are programs for um, sinuses, for young women, for their cycles, as well as for menopausal women. Um, boy, I'm looking at all the programs and I'll try to show you some of the pages. So this is, this is a fun little unit. Uh, which I I think is a pretty darn good value because, you know, who wants to go to the physical therapist three times a week, right? Um, I also have some another red light device. This is kind of fun thing. This is for, let's see if I can get this one going. Okay. So this, don't look too closely is a red light device for dental infections and for um, whitening of the teeth. And you can run this for five minutes a day up to 30 minutes a day, okay? And it has red and blue light in it. You probably couldn't tell, but it has red and blue light in it. So that's a red light device. And then I also have, let's see if I can get this to reach over here without spilling my water. This is a red light cap. And this is for accelerating hair growth. And this is new to our family. So we're just 
I, a family member is trying this out. <laughs> but this these light diodes won't come on until you actually put the cap on and turn it on. So there's that. Okay, and then the other phototherapy, uh, I don't even want to call this a device, but it is in the realm of cellular health. These are patches that you wear. Talk about simple technology. You peel the back off and you place this on your body. Um, certain patches have different placements. So if you wanted to do a sleep patch, you'd put it right here. If you want to do something for energy, you could put it um, at, your, at your core. If you're working on a pain issue, you would put it on the pain point and you wear it for 12 hours, it can get wet. And what it does is it um, stimulates the copper peptide cycle, which um, interacts with the, the light and the heat of our body. So these, these, are, these are easy and fun, but there isn't a frequency in there to target an organism, okay? So I, I like it for sports performance. I'd like it for maybe sleep or something like that. I don't use them a lot because I have my other devices, but um, my clients do do like them a lot. <laughs> so, um, and then I had one other thing I wanted to show you just to show you in here are some metal shavings. And when we put a magnet to it, it moves the metal shavings. And just so you can kind of see now that's just a simple magnet. If we have a magnet that's playing music and sound at specific frequencies, it can cause these, these shavings, your cells, to form these very complex patterns. And what happens is we get smarter and we get younger. Who doesn't want that, right? <laughs> so I believe that's the gamut of my devices. There are other devices out there. Uh, for example, I'm actually sitting on a PEMF mat. The mat has six copper coils in it. So you can get sandwiched with all this energy. Mats are really good for pain. Um, you probably all have, have heard of a mat or perhaps you've gone to a doctor that has a mat that they like. But um, again, there's not a specific frequency in there for a specific condition. So Okay, so I'm almost finished, I think. Let me just share again and get to the time of Q&A. Yeah, it's frozen again. So Marjorie, again, if you want to just stop the um, stop the slides. Yeah. And go back. Um, to my PowerPoint. To your PowerPoint. And then turn, just turn off the slideshow and then yeah. restart the, bring it up and then restart the, like reshare and then start the slideshow again. Okay. And it should, it should pull you up to the page you were on. Okay. Are you seeing it? Uh, not yet. If you go ahead and uh, do the share in Zoom. Yeah. Okay. You might have to see my my other slides, but that's okay. Yeah. Because I did press that button. Okay. So. Okay. And then just the little icon down yeah. on the bottom okay. bar. There we go. And I, hopefully that'll okay. Okay. reboot it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So there, this is um showing you that that those programs are on this guy. And then these programs are on this little frequency specific individualized microcurrent frequency device. Those are just some of the 100 programs. And then for the athlete or the well individual, I like this device, it's called a halo. And this is PEMF, but what's distinctive about this is the frequencies are layered on top of each other. So it's more of a symphony versus with my other devices, you're listening to a soloist play one note at a time. This is a symphonic composition where the programs run from seven minutes to a maximum of 21 minutes. So if you're getting ready to go 
run a marathon or if you're trying to boost your immune system, it's nice because the programs are, are short and powerful at the same time. I showed you the patches. I showed you the dental. Uh, again, I've I've avoided dental infections or healed dental infections using the oral unit. Now, some people have asked about mitigating EMFs. How do we, if we're sensitive or we're just aware that we're getting too many EMFs, we've got too much Wi-Fi, we're using our microwave ovens too much. This is a device that you place in your room. Um, it's about the size of, of this device, it's a little bit bigger than this. And it's um, got a combination of crystals inside. I don't really know how to explain it, but it helps to um, like like mitigate and counteract the harmful effects of EMFs. So people have found these to be great for sleep. And um, I believe there's also a version of this that helps with air purification. So most of these are very easy to use. There's sometimes like with one of the devices, they had a hard startup in America and people got frustrated and the tech support was awful. It's a whole new product now. There's, it's, it's really um, a great, a great device. So, when you're using these devices, you don't want to overuse them. I had one woman who used one of my devices all night long, and it was too much, and she had to stop for several weeks. You can overdo it. We want to let the jello set. We want to allow the body to integrate the frequencies. So. I would say the average of these devices is about 40 minutes a day. Some of them are 15 minutes, some of them are an hour and a half. It depends on what you're working on in the body too. Um, if you are trying to detox something, then obviously you'd want to spend more time on it, but you would never cleanse or detox more than three, day, three days a week. There's no preparation for using these devices. All you have to do is be well hydrated. Speaking of which, everybody take a sip. <laughs> well hydrated means half your weight in body ounces per day and I don't mean tea or coffee or sodas easy application and placement I'd say the one that's the most hassle is the one where you'd have to take these little adhesive pads put a little blue goo on it it's called spectra gel you put a little gel on that slap it onto your body you know if you don't want to do that, you, you use the coil. M most of them are just a really simple application. It's not like an IV or going into a hyper hyperbaric oxygen chamber. You will have to avoid electronics and foot baths while you're using your devices. Some people go ahead and, and use them, but remember you're dealing with a high powered magnet and you don't want to lose your data. Uh, but I also encourage people to turn things off and use that time for prayer, use that time for journaling, use that time for being conscious of what's happening in your body. Because some people can actually feel the current flowing through their bodies and want, they dig it, they want to enjoy it. You would not want to use these devices if you have a lot of metal. If you have joint replacements that are titanium, you're good, just don't place the unit on that particular body part. You would also not want to use these if you're wearing a pacemaker or um, I believe some glucose monitors that are implanted, hearing aids, anything that's an implanted, implanted device, you wouldn't be able to use these. If you have a history of seizures, like epileptic seizures and uh, or electrical sensitivity, you would want to avoid these as well. Although I do know people that go ahead and use them because they feel their seizures are from Lyme. Also, uh, women who are pregnant or nursing should avoid using these devices. Uh, one of them is specifically not designed for children. So some of the things my clients have experienced are pain relief, um, mood elevation, mental clarity, that we used to call it Lineheimers, that brain fog goes away, uh, just energy, you know, just, you know, living life again. Relationships have been restored um, vacations have been taken, kids get into, you know, they get to play on the baseball team and go to prom and they get into the top schools and then they get into, you know, uh, internships and get good jobs. I, I have a story about that that I'll share with you. They return to work, they return to exercise, they return to living. I've helped people with injury repair 
and sports enhancement, and they are spared surgeries, hospitalizations, and institutionalization. I had someone say thank you for keeping my daughter out of the mental hospital. Others that benefit would be pets and caregivers, okay? So this isn't just for the patient, this is for the, the person who loves the patient. And animals gravitate toward this. I'm telling you, they love this stuff. I've had people tell me that their cat's goiter went away or that their dog's Lyme resolved. Um, it's, you know, there's no placebo with pets. They, they're not sitting there thinking, oh, I believe in this or I don't believe in this. It works, okay? So I know we have a lot of animal lovers here. So here's an example of a young lady who, um, whom I knew many years ago, her mother and I met in a doctor's office. And um, our, we both of our daughters uh, were with us and she, the mother and her daughters were both sick. Well, this one could barely walk, couldn't drive, and she wanted to go to college. And so she went to a community college and, um, I recommended a product to them and they acquired one and um, the daughter overcame Lyme and co-infections. She attained a master's degree in accounting and received multiple job offers. And I heard from the mom today that after one year, she got promoted and she's enjoying life on her own in her own apartment. The other daughter is doing well too. I think she just got um, certified in cybersecurity or something like that. The mom herself um, overcame uh, an autoimmune condition and Lyme. And now um, she's helping other people attain wellness in Texas. So it's a really cool story. They were one of my first clients. Um, now my screen is frozen again, but I can tell you of people who had Epstein-Barr since they were 20 years old and now they're in their 60s and they are running five miles a day and um, enjoying mental and physical and spiritual health. Um, my, I have a relative who uses my device. She's 61 and she uh, just completed a half marathon. And I believe this was her maybe 15th half marathon. Uh, now she didn't have Lyme, but she was using it for general wellness. And then I have individuals who, I have many people who've had cycling accidents or car accidents. One woman had broken her jaw in five places and um, her healing was so rapid that her doctors were, were amazed. And she now is a healer for other people. Um, I have another client who whom I've helped with blood sugar. He was a diabetic. I've helped him with blood sugar regulation. He broke his shoulder, helped him with his shoulder recovery. The doctor's jaw dropped when he saw the x-rays. I have another client who is a Lyme patient who had a bad fall, broke her shoulder in five places. In three weeks, four of the five bones had refused, re reattached. And again, her doctor said, I've never seen that rapid of healing. Um, oh, I could go on and on, but my screen's frozen again, so. <laughs> um, just suffice it to say that uh, a lot of good things happen when our body has the cellular energy that it needs. So for me, what it's helped me with is I told you about the dental infections. I've also had two or three tick bites and I've be, remained asymptomatic now for nine years. Um, I also had a groin pull during a tennis tournament and I was told that I should probably withdraw and that groin pulls take two weeks to recover from. But I did a pain release, it's called pain release program on one of my devices, uh, twice a day for two days and on the third day I won the tournament. And it was a three hour match in 85 degree heat. So I had stamina. I think I just outlasted the lady. <laughs> so that was cool. Um, Oh my goodness, what else? Oh, I had a bad fall when we were on vacation. Ended up in the ER. I literally took it on the chin. I landed on my face and I did my programs. And a week later, I was back on the tennis court. You get the feeling I'm kind of addicted to playing tennis. Uh, but anyway, 
you know, it was the kind of thing that usually takes someone down after a fall, they, they don't recover. And I recovered very quickly. Thankfully I didn't break anything, but I was looking pretty bad. <laughs> uh, golly. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, yeah. So that's, that's me. Um, my husband had a gallbladder attack and we were at a little Airbnb in the middle of nowhere didn't have to go to the hospital. Let's see, he had food poisoning and helped him with that. Um, my daughter had a sting of a scorpion and they were told her she'd have, they told her she'd have pain for five days. She, her pain lasted for two days. I don't know. I mean, just so many amazing things have happened with my devices. So now if you, if this is all compelling to you and you think you want to bring a device into your home, into your world, I recommend a couple of things. First of all, when you're looking at the cost, yeah, some of them are expensive. Think of the cost savings, okay? Think of it as an investment. Again, we save money. Most of my families save money and because they don't have all those other medical expenses, okay? Also consider your lifestyle. Are you someone who could sit still for half an hour to 45 minutes to use a device? Are you someone um, who wants to be active and would need the one that you don't care if it's an hour long program, you wanna be in motion, you wanna be active. Also, you need to think about the number of people in your household who would use it. So that's why something like the, the little watch that I showed you, Really, you can only have one user because the programs are eight hours a day and there isn't the opportunity to set up individual profiles. With one of my devices, you can set up multiple profiles or you can have three people using it at once. Set it on the, the mom sits in the middle with the coil and then the children are on either side or the husband and wife could put it between their pillow and run the sleep program. So think about that. Um, think uh, also, does the company provide a warranty or a return policy? And the main thing I recommend is you make sure that whoever you go with has really good customer service because um, you want you don't want to make an investment and then have it sit in your closet. You want to know your hand is going to be held. Um, I do provide coaching to the people that buy the units from me. But also uh, the company, one of the companies I really like has individuals who have had their own Lyme journeys. They've had Lyme, they've had MCAS, they've had mycotoxin illness, they get it. So they're, they're empathic, not just sympathetic. And um, no, it's not 24 seven, but it's, they're very responsive. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, the The, more power to a device is not necessarily better because sometimes you want things to be gentler and you want lower frequencies can go deeper into the tissues. So don't always look for power necessarily as a reason why you would choose a device. So um, what did we learn? We've, we've learned that our earth has healing frequencies. We've learned the importance of the body, body mind synchronicity. We've learned that it's important to work on a microbiome, which is another thing I want to say, just because you have these devices doesn't mean you can go, you know, eating your Five Guys burgers or drinking alcohol. I still recommend that people be sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, alcohol-free. I recommend that people um, do everything they can to reduce stress in their lives. I, I recommend people be active. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean, you know, be in an exercise program, but be active, be moving in some fa in some fashion. Also, be patient. Also, be in community. Um, when I let me go back to the patient one. Almost anything you try is going to take three months. Okay, so the the improvements in your life will be fairly gradual. Now, sometimes. I would say with one of my devices, 85% of the people feel something within the first two weeks. They feel better in the first two weeks. Um, some research was done on one of my devices. The quality of life went up 44% in two weeks. Um, stress, the measurement of stress went down, I think, 37% in the first two weeks. So some of these things work very quickly, but ultimately you wanna to get to the root cause of your condition. So be patient. Be connected, be in community. This is, I don't know how we would have done it without our church, without our family, without our neighbors. 
Um, it's, it's, and be in a support group like this. This is fabulous. Um, this is, you know, I tell people, if you don't get it, you don't get it. People don't understand like other sufferers. We, we have that special bond. So I encourage um, to be in connection and community. Um, have your way of reducing stress. I, I, I like prayer and meditation and reading. Um, some people like to listen to music. Some people like to go to the beach. Find your way to bring down your stress level. And then just ask yourself, you know, um, am, I, am I on a good path right now? Is it time to change horses? Because I like to say, if you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always gotten. And how's that working for you? <laughs> Don't mean to be salty, but I'm just saying. So that's the conclusion of my presentation. And I'm happy to take your questions and encourage you further. We do have some written questions that came up during your presentation. Um, thank you. That was so thorough. Um, Thanks. One of the first questions um, came from Kristen. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm from Mel. And whoops. I'm Mel. having trouble scrolling here. Mel in Massachusetts. Um, yes, it was Mel. Um, it mentions devices are like acupuncture without the needles. If I used the device, would I no longer need to go to acupuncture? I go weekly. So I used to go monthly. Uh, well, I went more often when I was ill, but then I used to go just for tune-ups. I don't need to go anymore. My daughter doesn't need to go anymore. The reason for that is one of the inventors of one of my devices, the PEMF device, is an acupuncturist and she built acupuncture into the programming. So that's why the organs are paired together, hollow and solid, yin and yang, um, gallbladder and liver, stomach, spleen, pancreas, small intestine and heart, large intestine and lung. They work in tandem with each other. And if they're not both up here, one's doing more work than the other, one you know, is, is weak or one's inflamed, you're not gonna have health. So yes, I would say, if you want to keep going to your acupuncturist and disrobing and having needles stuck in you, that's your choice. But I have found that I no longer need, and a lot of my clients don't need their acupuncture sessions anymore. Um, Mel also asked, is there a way to try the units before purchasing? Uh, Mel is in Massachusetts. Um, I don't, some of the companies might, like they'll have perhaps like a 30, like the, the little watch, the little watch thing has a 30 day trial period. Some of the others have a trial period, but they might be a restocking fee. Um, I do rent some of my devices. Um, yeah, I rent the PEMF machine. I rent the frequency specific microcurrent device. Um, so yeah, sometimes, sometimes companies will rent them. One company has a rent to own option. It's called try to buy. So yeah, you just call the company and ask them, you know, how can I just try this without a big investment? Okay. And um, the the device that looked like the smoke detector or spaceship, mm -hmm. does that have um, a selection for dental issues? Right. Or is that specific uh, to the dental no. unit? That does not, that does not. Now the smaller one does, this one does have a dental program. Okay. Yeah. Um, Cindy asked, how broad is your client base? Um, Cindy was trying to get the feel of the percentage of successes and how many clients were supported by their doctors while they were using this alternative approach? Oh, okay, that's good. Let's see, that's a lot of questions wrapped into one, but those are good questions. I would say that um, probably about 90% of my clientele uh, are vector-borne illness sufferers. Um, but I, when I realized everybody had something that they were dealing with, I branched out and I changed my business from my line guide to well cells. And that's why I've been able to help stroke victims and diabetics and um, concussion victims and that type of thing. So, um, so I am, I am, yeah, like the neighbors 
are always spraining an ankle or breaking a bone and the word's gotten around that I've got this device and people come to me or they, they rent one out. Um, doctors, a lot of doctors have actually uh, validated this and told their patients, yeah, if it's working for you, go ahead. Uh, I have had several doctors talk to me about possibly coming in and running sessions for their patients, but I really like what I do. I, I work from my home. I work when I want, and my clients don't want to be in a clinical setting. They like coming here and looking at my backyard, even though I have deer. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I've, I, I showed it to one doctor. Some doctors feel threatened by it. I showed it to one doctor and she said, well, if my patients use this, then I wouldn't need to do my hands on with them anymore. They wouldn't need me anymore. Right. So, so some doctors have not embraced it. I had another doctor who said, would you just come in and do the, the scan, the, the bioresonance analysis or the, the voice print to tell me what's going on with my patients. Cause I don't trust testing. I don't, I feel like I'm just throwing things, meds, meds at them and hoping that something works. Now, I don't want a doctor like that. I don't think you do either. But, um, you know, so, so there have been doctors who will, who will approve of, um, of this. And I'm happy to talk to people's doctors. There's also one of the products has a practitioner website and they will train doctors in using these. A lot of doctors will actually rent these out. They'll have like an inventory of them and they'll rent them out. Not a lot of doctors. I know of some doctors who will rent them out. And do you have literature about these devices that you can share with our audience? Um, well, the best thing to do is go to wellcellsvitality.com. And I had hoped to show you that on my slide, but I don't want to go back to it. We'll, we'll share that with our Okay. Um, audience. Yeah. So if you go to wellcellsvitality.com, you will see the links to all of these devices. And someone asked what this guy was called. This is a mag Healy, like magnetic Healy. The little guy here, this is a Healy. So it's the same company. It's a German company. Okay. Um, Kristen is asking, which type of device do you recommend for a sensitive Lyme and MCAS patient? And is there a Herx reaction from doing frequency treatments, uh, therapies? Okay. Um, Nelly, you can click on products. It will happen. So um, I tell Thanks, you, Nelly. I really like the big guns. You're looking at it right there. This is the amp coil. That is the PEMF and sound therapy. This is the one where you can select the organisms in the A to Z library. This is the one that cushions the blow. This is the one that has a detox assist Herx help program. Um, this is the one that has tech support by individuals that have had MCAS, okay? So yes, this is the one that also costs a lot of money, but there are payment plans and this is the one that can save a lot of money. Did I answer your question? I don't see any response here. Um, so again, just scrolling down on Marjorie's website a little bit um, that uh, under products, you can yeah. look at details. So like there's some of the other devices that um, she demonstrated and things like that. Uh, yeah. And Jana asks, what, I think she was asking the name of the device I just was talking about is the amp coil, amp like amplitude coil, like a modified Tesla coil. And that's ampcoil.com. And I, I think, oh, okay, there was one other part to that, Herx reactions. Yeah, I mentioned that there's the detox assist Herx help program. And that is really cool because what it does is it um, stimulates any binders you may have in your body. It also provides a little serotonin for mood relief because we all feel crappy when we're Herxing. And it has, let's see, it has sulfur in there for binding. It has serotonin. Um, there used to be glutathione in there and they took that out and they moved that into the nourishing 
program. There's a pro program called General Detox Nourishing, and, and that's where you can get the powerful antioxidant called glutathione. And, and do any of the machines cause herxing? They can, de depending on the body. Um, yeah, they cause a they cause a detox response. So you may have, like when I was detoxing the tapeworm, I got really bad stomach cramps, but I ran the detox assist program and 20 minutes later that pain was gone. A few hours after that, that gut wrenching pain, like the worm was turning, um, came back. I ran the detox assist again. The pain went away in about 30 minutes. Okay. So, you, you know, we, we, some people like to have a hurt. They like to have a flare because they like to know it's working. So you want some of that to confirm that it is indeed working, but at the same time, that's hard. That's rough. And a lot of people don't ever bother doing the detox programs because they don't want to herx. And I'm saying herxing is healing. Okay. It's, this is not the typical herx. This is, this is a herx that can be mitigated. And I, I know people are asking, um, what's the best device? What, which one should I choose? I recommend you go to the website and um, investigate about what's available and if you'd like to consult with Marjorie, there's um, information on how to connect with her there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, again, there's no perfect device. I mean, if you ask me, what would I take if my house were on fire? Well, because one of these is 15 pounds, I probably wouldn't take it. Honestly, I'd probably take this, the little guy, because he's portable and wearable and has 100 programs. I'd probably take that with me. Uh, but I've gone on vacation and I wanted to have both with me because the big guy, the Amcoil, has something for food poisoning, right? Um, and the little guy I can wear when I'm strolling the streets of the town I'm exploring, you know? So there's no there's no perfect device. Uh, you know, every everything has its strengths and weaknesses. And benefits and costs. Another question popped up. Um, have you explored EES or scalar mach energy machines? Yeah, I actually went for an EES session. It was in a room with a lot of light panels around me. And I didn't feel anything, but then again, I'm healthy. So uh, I do have a client who is a natural nurse who has an amp coil and a Healy and an EES system. And she likes the EES system when someone is chronically ill and multi-systemically involved. Okay. When they're a complex case, she likes the EES. I haven't used any scalar energy machines. Sorry. Um, any other questions? Um, oh, and, and last, one of the last questions is, do Rife type machines work for Lyme? I believe they do, because I believe that uh, Borrelia has a distinct resonance. And if you can put the counteracting or uh, resonant frequency against it, you can neutralize its energy. Um, I can tell you when I have my blood looked at, um, yes, there are still spirochetes there, but in very low quantities. And my immune system is so strong that I don't have any symptoms. Sh my microscopist showed me on a screen on the wall what she was seeing under her microscope. And there was this red blood cell and there was this black thing like headed toward it, like almost, it looked like it was almost protruding from it. I said, what, what is that, a parasite? She said, that's a bacterium that acts like a parasite. And what you're seeing is your immune system in action. You're seeing your red blood cell repel that infection, that invader. Yeah. So she's stunned by my blood. She says, I just don't see this in 65-year-old females. Oh, by the way, I'm 65. <laughs> 
see the gray <laughs> <laughs> so and I feel like a teenager I'm telling you I, I I'm loving life and I I want this for everybody so don't don't be intimidated by frequencies they're they are really amazing Marjorie thank you so much for a really compelling presentation uh, and uh, we're so glad to uh, have you join us and educate our audience. Thank you. And um, Nellie, thank you so much for your tech support and your assistance with these, um, arranging these meetings. Um, Nellie's been an integral part of the Lyme Center and is also a board member. And um, I'm just so glad to have her on our team. I couldn't do these events without her. Yeah, I've, thank you. Thank you both. You're very thank you all welcome. for being here. I know you got a lot of screen time tonight because you're probably going to go and watch the debates now, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're getting lots of thank yous in the um, oh, chat. You're welcome. you're welcome, everybody. Yeah, my my pleasure. I I told God when he healed me, I was going to pay it forward. So I, I, um, been doing this for seven years and it's really, really rewarding and, um, uh, meaningful. Very grateful. Thank and you everyone we... for joining us tonight.